So, Softube have released their latest software synthesizer, the Model 82, which is inspired by a very famous synthesizer from 1982. And what's great about that synth is because it's so simple, uh, one, you can learn synthesis on it in a few hours, but two, it forces you to see what you can do with every single part of it because there's nowhere to hide. And it's really surprising what you can get out of one oscillator, one filter, one amp, one envelope, and one LFO. So rather than a review, I thought I'd show you five things you can do with the Model 82. Chim chim churu. So number one, you can use it live. How? Well, you just need a controller. I was using an old Emu X board and you just map the encoders to the parameters on the synth, which is dead easy to do. You then save your MIDI map. You only have to do it once. And then you've got a physical interface that you can use to control the synth. You could just run it from a laptop and you can have other hardware that you're playing with. So you don't need to think of it as necessarily uh, a plugin on your computer. You can take it out and use it live or use it in a live jam in your studio. So number two, you can use it as a drum machine. So normally you'd need envelope mod of an oscillator for that pew, pew kind of drum sound. Uh, and there is an envelope mod of the oscillator, but you can put the filter into self oscillation and you can modulate that with the envelope. So then you can get all sorts of toms and kick sounds depending on where you've put the filter frequency. Uh, and you can add the drive in the plugin to make it sound really, really punchy and cool. You've then got the noise generator and you can do audio rate frequency modulation of the oscillator from the LFO, which then gives you kind of buzzy metallic sounds, which you can blend in for snares and claps and that kind of thing. And the super tight envelope generator can give you lots of little clicky clacky sounds. And if you use the random setting on the LFO, which you can clock to your door, you can then get lots of little variation and change in there. And it's surprising how many drum sounds I think you could hear by that demo you can get out of just so little and they sound really, really good. Number three, you can get dirty. Now, with only one oscillator, you might think you're not going to be able to get sounds that are complex harmonically, but 
You can put the filter into self-oscillation, as I mentioned earlier, and then you've got two tones happening at once. Uh, and if you cross-modulate the VCO and the filter with the noise generator from via the LFO, uh, you can get these really grubby sounds. And if you add in some sub-oscillator wub-wub bass, uh, then you can get the party started. Number four, arpeggios and sequences. So there's a really nice and simple arpeggiator in there, but there's also a sequencer. You just hit load, play in your notes, or play in your notes and rests and ties. Uh, and then that will sync to your door, uh, and you can put some um, clocked LFO modulation, and you just run those sequences and arpeggios into reverb and delays, and well, that's you sorted for the weekend. And finally, you can turn it into another synth. So if you've got Softube's sister plugin modular, then you get all the modules of the Model 82. So you can reconfigure it into a different synth. So I thought it would be fun to make an eight voice dual oscillator polysynth there. And I think you can hear it sounds really cool. So it doesn't have to be a monosynth. And so there we go. Five things you can do with the Model 82. Hoobity boobity boo.